Hello, today I'm going to show you how to assemble one of our three-seater trellis cottage armors, which is the CA104. As you can see, I've already unpacked the pallet, got all the bits laid out ready. We've got the two side panels um, here and here, which are left and right-handed. We've got a large trellis for the back panel, a support bar, um, a roof and the seat. This is the three-seater version that we're going to put together. First of all, you want to start with four screws for the back panel. The way that we do this is position the side panel against the back, about against the back trellis, so that it's flush with the very top of the angled part of the side panel. Then we get the drill with the screwdriver end, as shown. And we need to go where, where, the, where the brace is on the trellis, get your drill and you just go make yourself an indentation with the end of, end of your screwdriver bit. You can use a counter sinker if you've got one, but I find this just as, just as good. And we get a screw and we go in on a slight angle, in through the trellis to the side. There we go. Don't pull it in too much, just get it so it's nice and flush. Then we're going to do the same process on the other part, a bit lower down. So if we go near to the near to the bottom, second second uh, horizontal from the bottom, same again. Make a bit of an indent for your for your screw head. There we go. When you put the side panel on, notice that all the when this is stood up, the verticals, all the vertical trellis work, and the same as that, they'll all be facing inwards inside the arbor. That's the second bit, side panel off. Again, make sure it's flush at the top. Drill again to counter sink the hole a little bit. Again, just screw it to the side. If it pushes it pushes it out a bit when you go in, it makes a bit of a gap. Just come back out with your screw and then go in again. And the same again repeats at the top. Trellis, you might have to just give it a bit of a, a knock in with your hand, like that. Now this bit, what we do, is in the bottom of this angle bit again, use the end of your drill, make an indent, and then slight angle, into there, same again on this side. do is go through the bottom of the bar into the trellis at the bottom so where you've got a vertical rail coming down same again there make the hole and then send that through into the bottom of the trellis doesn't matter if that pulls in a little bit on that one because it's going through quite a thick section same again at this side There we go, so that's the support bar fixed to the bottom of the arbor. 
Next thing you need to do is stand it up. So make sure you've got some space there. Go around the back and lift your arbor up. And this is where you, you're going to want to put it into position where you, where you want to. I mean, you can use, you know, it's probably better if two people do this, but I'm going to do it on my own because I've done loads of them, so I'm quite used to it. slightly push out the front legs a bit to allow for the seat to go in. Now we get the seat panel. Notice that it's got a the shorter section is the actual seat that you sit on and the longer section is the backrest. So we push that in. Right, so you have to just edge the sides out a little bit and then hook it underneath the, the holders and then what you do is just pull that back in with your arms while you're holding it and that should sit should sit nicely on this lip on the lip at the bottom there and the same on this side then what you do you want four screws Screwing through the sides of the seat now to get this into position. So just make sure that it looks like when you put it in, like you've got the gap pretty much the same there as you have there, because otherwise it might throw things out a little bit. Also, when you're putting this up, it needs to be on a flat surface. If you're not on a flat surface, you might end up with things being a bit out of square. So what we're going to do? We're going to put two, two screws in the side in the side of the seat one there and one there and then the same on the other side if you notice these screws are anti-split screws so they've got like a recess on the bottom of the screw which stops the timber splitting There you go, so that's the seat fixed into position. <clears throat> now, the final part is to put the roof on. So the roof goes on through to the front of the arbor. You might want to get one pierce the other side. The, obviously the finial is towards the front, and so it's a thicker face board. So that the, so the lip at the back drops over the back of the trellis and the side panel and then you've got a nice lip at the front here so that just sits over there nicely. Now what you want to do, is you've got four, four more screws, so the way I do this is have a look at the side and you want to get it so that this line is sitting pretty even. Obviously, if you push that in and, and it's dropped down, it might not be level. So just adjust it slightly like that. And then again in here. So what we're going to do is do the same thing here with the drill. Create countersink. And then we're going to go up on a slight angle. Into the roof. And following the same process on this side. Again, checking that it's nice and level down the side I notice that dropped a little bit so I'm going to pull it back and put the screw in there we go and then you want to fit the next bit is to put one in the back so the way to do this go through here and 
again make a dent, which then go through again. Just pull it up. Don't go pulling it in too too hard because then you're dangerous damaging the timber. And then the same at this this section. And then if you just give it a bit of a push as you do it, it just gets into the right place. There you go. And that's your completed orbit.